A scarf for Percy. On cold mornings, Percy often saw workmen wearing scarves. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold, he would puff. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry one day. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, said Percy, in a cheeky way. You've only got a small one. Henry snorted. He was proud of his short, neat funnel. Just then, a train came in, and Percy, still puffing, I want a scarf, I want a scarf, went to take the coaches to their siding. His driver always shut off steam just outside the station, and Percy would try to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. Two porters were crossing, were taking some baggage across the line. They had a big load and were walking backwards to see that none fell off the cart. Percy arrived so quietly that the porters didn't hear him till the cart was on the line. The porters jumped clear. The cart disappeared with a crunch. Boxes and bags burst in all directions. Ooh, groaned Percy and stopped. Sticky streams of red and yellow jam trickled down his face. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. Clothes, hats, boots, shirts, shoes, skirts and blouses stuck on his front. Dresses. A pair of striped trousers coiled lovingly round his funnel. They were grey no longer. Angry passengers looked at their broken suitcases. Sir Topham Hat seized the top hat. Mine, he said crossly. Percy, look at this. Yes, sir, I am sure, a muffled voice replied. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir, please, sir, said Percy nervously. I'm very cross, said Sir Topham Hat. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes. My hat is dented and my trousers ruined, all because you come into the station as if you were playing grandmother steps with the coaches. The driver unwound the trousers. Sir Topham Hat waved them away. Percy wanted a scarf. He shall have my trousers for a scarf. They will keep him warm. Percy wore them back to the yard. He doesn't like scarves now, 